Good morning. This is the first morning all week. I have not woken up to work out, but I think I wanted a little extra time to work because I actually have a very busy Friday today, but this is my first vlog while in Miami, though I don't think we're gonna go out and do Miami things. That's for later vlogs. Yeah, I felt like vlogging today, so let's do that. It's like 8.30, I'm gonna make breakfast, and quite frankly, I have a couple meetings. I have in my head to film three videos and then make a couple of TikToks. I don't know if I'm actually gonna end up doing that because that's like a lot, but I do need to film a video for today probably upload it today we'll see and i'm vlogging yeah, and then you guys will be able to get a sneak peek of the apartment because i know a lot of you have asked for a tour i'm not ready for an official tour yet because for one it's kind of messy <laughs> in here today and two we're still kind of figuring things out and have a couple of pieces of furniture spilled and then yeah but the apartment tour i will have it in a vlog probably but anyways you'll definitely be able to see things in the background before we get into making breakfast i want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor for today's video so let's get into the sponsor portion thank you to renfo for supporting my channel and making all of this possible all of my work from home people who stare at screens all day listen up this is so funny to me that i'm promoting it but i love it so i had to this is the renfo eye massager as you can see it comes in a really cute box so it does make a great gift for father's day mother's day anniversary again it'll be silly but then they'll actually like use it i don't know i'm addicted to this thing <laughs> i've been buying everything in my apartment for Amazon and I've just been like spending hours on the website so this is actually the best-selling eye massager on Amazon like I said it is great for those of us who have eye strain and stare at screens all day it looks like this I look very silly when I have it on super easy to clean though and it has like skin friendly leather it allows you to refresh your eyes with a massage it's designed to target your acupoints with a combination of air compression, trigger point comfort, and it will even play music through Bluetooth on your phone. So at least you can listen to something or a podcast. I turn on my podcast when I'm using this. And then the head strap is also adjustable. I got a small head, so <laughs> I need this. The heating function is my favorite, and it's great for eye strain, eye puffiness, dry eyes, and wakening the blood circulation around the eyes, which I think is really cool, and I actually do feel like that it does work and help those areas, especially after working long days and, you know, staring at a screen. And number one eye massager on Amazon, you guys. Like, over 600,000 annual sales, which is crazy. And it's also been recommended by 100 celebrities and bloggers because it's so cool. And you know how Amazon will sometimes have discounts displayed. This will sometimes have discounts displayed for you from time to time every month so that you're able to save some money on this. I don't know, man. This has just been a great nighttime routine for me. I love to turn on the heat function, turn on my podcast, and just relax with my eye closed. It helps get me nice and sleepy before bed. Super relaxing. So when you put it on your eyes, there's a few different modes. One mode will allow you to have air pressure, heat, and music. One is air pressure, heat, vibration, and music. One is air pressure only in music, heat only, vibration only in music. I like the heat setting. I'm about to look so stupid. <laughs> I really need to show you this. This is important, you guys. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's my phone? Ugh, it kind of massages my temples. I love it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Any girls got to eat listeners here? Love that podcast. Oh, the heat feels so good. And you can change the volume of the music up and down. Okay, you guys probably cannot take me serious doing this, but I could lay down and go to sleep with this heat setting. <laughs> Anyways, once again, it's a huge thank you to Renfo for sponsoring today's video. I know it's so funny because I normally don't take sponsorship from tools like this, but this one was special. <gasps> I love it. Okay, um, you're gonna see me using it in future vlogs, okay? It's part of my new nighttime routine. Nothing good in the fridge. Let's see what Morgan's up to. What the? Mind your business. Are you in the metaverse already? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he makes fun of me. Now look. Hey. Does it feel good? The heat, right? The heat's my favorite. Oh. <laughs> Do you guys see Jose's abstract art? <laughs> so the key to our apartment for this year during our lease 
is functionality and might not always be the most pretty but we have a lot of bounce in our apartment lots of echo so we put these up to help with the echo a little bit the echo is still here so we're figuring it out and you guys don't mind it so much in my videos but just in general i'm sure you can hear the echo right now and i mean it's just gonna take time we don't have a couch or anything in here yet it's kind of expensive <laughs> we spent a lot of money moving and buying essential stuff that we needed here so we're gonna wait before we get anything like that but yeah so if you're wondering what these are it's abstract art to help the echo I'm depressed because our avocados aren't ready yet, so I have to eat my breakfast burrito without an avocado. I forgot about toasting my tortilla, and now I've toasted it for too long because I was posting something on my Instagram, and I over-toasted it, and I was like a tortilla chip. Is it crunch? Is that some crunch? <laughs> I'm so I haven't done my hair or makeup today yet, but outfit today is this adorable set from Amazon. Ignore my uh, socks. <laughs> But how cute is this? So I'll link this. The set from Amazon. I'm wearing a size small. And for reference, I'm tiny. I am only 4'10", 4'11", for reference. But yeah, it's a great length on my petite body. And I love it. I'm making a coffee because that eye massager, I did it for like 10 minutes. And now I'm like, <laughs> it's so relaxing. Don't do it in the morning. Do it at night will help you sleep i'm trying to get jose to do that because he has problems falling asleep and i think the heat of that will help relax him to make the coffee liquid stevia for me is key to sweetening an iced coffee i'll use whatever to sweeten a hot coffee but you need a liquid sweetener in my opinion and for some reason oh my goodness this is gonna keep falling all day for some reason all of the grocery stores near me do not have cashew milk and cashew milk i've talked about this before is my milk of choice i don't like almonds milk i don't care for oat milk nobody sells cashew milk i found one at a random publix so i made a whole instacart order just for cashew milk i'm so happy that we have cashew milk again because i've been suffering through almond milk before this jose and i have also been looking into coffee creamers that were a little healthier we found this nut pods french vanilla and it's disgusting it's the unsweetened kind so that's probably why uh but i we paid a lot of money for this so i'm taking one for the team and i've been finishing it but i mix it with my super unhealthy melted ice cream international delight we just decided you cannot substitute creamer for anything healthy you cannot you just gotta get the unhealthy one we tried but we gotta stick to this and we have to have creamer you guys the coffee is not enjoyable to us without creamer i know some of you take it black you are an amazing specimen because i cannot gives me a little taste of joy in the morning okay another amazon purchase that i need to share with you i starting in all my vlogs now i am an amazon queen i'm gonna give you so many amazon <laughs> recommendations because that's where we are buying everything from like i said earlier these straws okay i have to drink my coffee with a straw so one thing i hate about straws is i feel like gunk always gets stuck on them and if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen the story we found these silicone straws on amazon they have a seam so that way you can open it up and literally clean it because a big fear of mine is getting gunk in my straw when I'm drinking and that I don't expect and you don't really know what it is. <laughs> so this is for my peace of mind. It's a little bit thicker 
you know, so I don't like how thick it is. But for my peace of mind, knowing I have a clean straw, I will take it. I'm going to link it. It's a pretty big set for like 11 or $12. But you can get the most out of it because Jose and I trim them and cut them in half. And we make up two for like the smaller cups that we use. And then we have a couple ones that we kept taller. But yeah, another Amazon work right here, baby. Mm, amazing. Let me see. How does this taste? Whew, yummy. The liquid stevia, I'm telling you. Okay, I need to be productive now. Let me answer some emails. I want to show you my desk setup. See, I'm going to give you snippets of the apartment. Don't you worry. So Jose and I like to have our desks together. That's how we had it at my parents' house. So we bought two desks and pushed them together. And we both kind of customized them. There's the same desk, but like I didn't want mine with the riser that Jose's has. So we didn't put that on and I wanted the drawer. And then Jose did not want the drawer. So our desks are the same, but we customized them. Yeah, we have a black and pink theme over on my side literally everything you see is probably from Amazon I haven't decided yet how to decorate the bottom here but I have my iPad stand we have to buy a plant for that and I don't even know if I'm keeping that but anyways how cute I love my little desk area okay let me answer some emails now we also got this see all I'm gonna talk about is house stuff we got this rug yesterday it's very black our apartment as you can see is very black and white. We do plan on adding color. We just, we gotta chill with the spending first before we buy more decor. One of the videos that I'm prepping for today, I'm gonna film it after my meeting, is things that I wish Pat McGrath would launch. And I posted on Instagram, make sure you're following me. If you're not, tell me what you think is missing from the line or what you would like to see. I mean, since this video is up, you've already seen that video but i would say like 85 percent of the answers is more colors less paints anything that's not pink nothing pink <laughs> palettes with mats that aren't brown or pink no pinks or golds and <laughs> it just keeps going on but um, if you are interested and you want to know like kind of what i would come out with if i were on the creative team over there Check out that video. I also share your guys' input as well. I'm not the most creative person when it comes to putting together things and like I, I can't make the launches for them, but I did kind of give general ideas of what direction I would think would be fun for the brand to go. And the video idea was inspired by Kelly Gooch because, oh my gosh, I love her video. She's so creative when she comes up with concepts basically for brands. And she predicts what brands would launch and uh she's so good anyway she totally inspired that video but it's been fun for me to think i've been pondering it the last couple of days at least. i have a meeting in like five minutes and <laughs> after that i will look better okay productive meeting it was fabulous hair is done this is my lazy girl hair when my hair looks like how it did this morning i tie it back and then i curl the front and it looks like i put a lot more effort in than i did i am pulling the products that i want to use for the first video i'm filming today which is my beauty buffs tutorial so if you don't know i have a monthly membership I believe it's $2.99 a month. I give my Beauty Buff members one exclusive tutorial a month. And this month, Pat McGrath Mothership Free Subversive is what the tutorial is gonna be based around since I'm filming another Pat McGrath video after. So I am just pulling the products that I want to use. And for my Beauty Buff tutorials, if you're interested in joining, there should be a join button down below. I use Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona every month. And then I also kind of shop my stash for the rest of the products. So I'm just gonna pick some random products that simply I feel like using. A lot of them will be discontinued and just a way to bring back some of the old. So let me grab some of these first. I look crazy. I'm in the middle of filming a tutorial about you guys. <sighs> My second meeting, I completely, I didn't forget about it. I knew I had a second meeting, but I like lost track of time while filming this and I showed up to my meeting looking like this and I was like, sorry. Anyway, so I'm getting ready. Beauty buff tutorial. Okay, you guys know what I'm doing. I told you. <laughs> I'll meet you. I just had to tell you about my flop. I'm a very organized person, but dang, I flopped that. 
one video down. I have one more I need to film, but here's how the beauty buff tutorial look turned out. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness, it's already like 12.30. I'm gonna make myself a snack, I think. Let me go see what Jose is doing. He was busy this morning doing stuff. I have convinced Jose to get poke with me. And I'm gonna take this ridiculous makeup off me now. I filmed two and a half videos today. The vlog counting as half. And I'm going to take my makeup off. We're gonna go to get poke. I'm gonna bring my computer and work stuff with me and Jose I think wants to sit by the pool. I'm gonna sit by the pool and work. I'm not gonna change into a swimsuit though because I just want to work and read by the pool. But I'll hang out with you. It is an absolutely beautiful day out in Miami today. Oh, I don't want to. Yummy. I'm so excited. I couldn't see it today. <gasps> Onigiri, I'm telling you. I mean, I've only lived here for three weeks, but they have my favorite poke. Here's Jose's. We basically get the same thing. <laughs> but, ooh, I'm about to go in. The struggle is mixing it though without making a mess. You gotta eat some of the rice at the bottom first and then you'll have a little room. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jose had to help me. I couldn't do it. We definitely did not end up going to the pool because um, Poke Bowl had me so full I needed to lay it down. We're gonna pick up some packages though. We have one from Amazon, one from USPS. <laughs> I made sure to grab and catch that. Ooh, I don't know. It's um, a forwarded package. So it could be a. <laughs> Boom. Why are you letting me? Ah, you said record. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's unbox. The first one is from Ace Beauty. I do have a discount code now. I will put it, well I've had it. I just forgot I had it. But I just remembered I have it because they emailed me and they were like, you have a discount code. And I was like, oh, <laughs> sweet. I think it's Morgan Turner, but it will be on the screen. They have some of the best color stories. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Okay, let me show you. Cause it's snacking right now. <gasps> How cute. Okay, so we have, some eyelashes. Oh, they look quite dramatic. This one looks a little bit more wearable. We have a brush cleaning pad. Love these, they are great. A cute little tumbler that says Vite for all. These are great. These hair clips so that they don't leave any creases or anything. I have a headband, it's kind of small. <laughs> and then, the most exciting part of them all, we have a palette. The quintessential eyeshadow palette, it's big packaging. I think Jose's least favorite part of me doing what I do for a job is having to deal <laughs> with all the recycling. Here's the packaging. He just giggled because he knows it's true. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. I'm excited to play with this. I love the way that Ace Beauty puts together a palette. Thank you so much, Ace. Can't not wait to play. I definitely am gonna be using a lot of this stuff. So this one is an older package because it was sent to my old address and then got forwarded. I think I lost, and this is not that big of a deal, but I think I lost a lot of PR packages just because of my address change. My mom is still getting a bunch and there's, between the time that we moved and the address changed, it's taken weeks for me to get certain packages from the forwarded address. I don't know, how do people move and change their address? It's not even like, you know, PR is great and their gifts. I don't care that I'm not getting them. But if I move again, you know, I don't want strangers to get my packages. They're annoyed by it because it can get annoying. My mom likes it though, she's not mad. But next time I move, it's not gonna be my mom getting it. So that's why I need to figure out how to deal with this. So this looks like it is from Essence. <laughs> what on earth? I'm kind of scared. Why is there white gloves? 
And a disco ball. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> How does one open it? Oh, <laughs> we have some lip products. Is there anything else? I don't think there would be. I think that should be it, yeah. Okay, so Essence sent over their Extreme Shine Lip Glosses. I'm gonna have to email them and change my address. But some of these look very, very pretty. So thank you so much, Essence. Today is the first day that Jose and I haven't gotten anything for our house in the mail. We've been ordering stuff every single day from like you little things like utensils to our Google Home. Ugh, just like things that we think of that we need. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Essence. And the last package, I don't think I can show you guys. I think it's a collab palette that has not been revealed yet. So I can't tell you anything about it. But let me just double check. Oh, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try a palette from this brand. And I'm so excited that this gets to be the, pal the palette I get to try. And it hasn't been revealed yet. So I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to message them <laughs> a picture of it so that they know that I have it. Ooh. Oh. Do you think you think it's pretty, Jose? I'm excited for this to be revealed to you guys. I know a lot of you are going to like this one. <laughs> but that's all I can say at that. I'm going to clean up all the boxes now, but thanks for joining me for this unboxing. Hey, Jose's building our console table. Why does that look like a shoe rack? <laughs> it looks like a shoe rack. But anyways, let me show you where the console table is going. If you're watching this, you're special. Because I was not going to show you our apartment until it was like clean and more put together. But I mean, I'm figuring that that's going to be ways away. But here's like the front where you enter. We're going to put the black console table here. This is where I have to keep my eyeshadow palettes. And I have a new bed cover that we're gonna put on our bed this weekend. It's a little messy. We're gonna clean this weekend. There's a box we still haven't unpacked. Kitchen, which you guys have seen in the background. This is my office, my fake office. But see, I film like right here. You see, this is where I film, but in all reality, the kitchen is right behind me. This is a Milani PR box that I actually should show you guys. It has a lot of good stuff in here that I need to empty out. I love Milani's PR packages, but I need to, do need to unbox that. My beloved coffee station, that's me. You've seen our desks. We're going to put a chair right here, like a seat, a comfortable tiny couch or like a one-seater we just uh, are holding off till the right one shows up and then i've shown you guys this on instagram but our balcony is extra long for like no reason but uh we weren't gonna have these chairs with us these were supposed to be our beach chairs but they're super comfortable so we just left them there anyways but this is like the aesthetic cute side and then this is the practical side for comfort. I chill here all evening. I'm loving the Florida weather right now. I will, I will be complaining later. Oh, it looks better now with the top piece. We're going to get some cute decorations eventually. And then if you walk over, bathroom. Our bathroom is like nothing special. You turn, closet, and then... Here's our bedroom. Yeah. As you can see, we have a lot of work and decorations and whatnot to add, but we have the main furniture that we need. I mean, we were living here for like the first week without anything except a blow up mattress, and it was really, really sad. So <laughs> we're happy to have somewhere to sit and a real bed now. But we spent so much money that we were like, all right, we gotta chill a little bit, like a month or two <laughs> before we start buying all the decorations and stuff, because buying it all at once is painful so there will be like an official apartment tour it's just going to be a few weeks so i just showed you guys that so you, you kind of saw what we were working with like i said in the beginning of the vlog our apartment this year is about just being functional the rental market in south florida right now is crazy absolutely crazy um, we originally were going to get a two bedroom because look at all my stuff it's for my home office and whatnot but 
with how crazy it was we just settled for a one bedroom we figured we would make it work and honestly it's working out really great for us i was worried that, that our space would feel too small but i mean it feels so much bigger than i thought it was going to so i'm actually very very happy it's totally functional for us this year, but eventually I, I want to have a normal living room. We aren't sit down on the couch and watch TV kind of people, so I don't feel like I'm missing out too much yet. Just, you know, I would like a space that is not dedicated to my work eventually. I can just chill at. That's why I'm on our balcony all the time. No, I mean, I think this space has worked out really great for us so far. I love it. It's an amazing first apartment. I feel so lucky, so blessed to have this apartment. Love the building, love the area. How are you liking living in Miami? I love it, it's amazing. The weather, being able to walk. He loves being able to walk, the weather. I mean, this Miami was made for him, so it's perfect, so. I can't wait to upgrade our apartment, but for this year, I'm really, really happy with what we ended up with. I was so worried, you guys, because of how fast the apartments and condos were like going out, we didn't even get to really see this apartment, this unit, before we signed a lease. I know they say that's a big no-no, but literally, you guys, when we were searching, we would set up an appointment to go view an apartment and before we could even like physically get there they would be like oh somebody already rented it so we had to look at a unit in a building that wasn't the exact unit just to be able to sign a lease on it like it ended up good i don't recommend it for everybody if you have the ability to see the unit definitely see the unit because I had no idea what type of space we were working with, if it would be enough space for us. We got lucky. But anyways, if you're trying to move to South Florida, it's a mess and it's very expensive. And it was a very, very stressful process. We're just happy to be here. Loving it so far. I am also loving walking places. I hate driving hate it we paid extra for a central location and i couldn't be more happy about it i don't want to drive i don't care to drive and the miami driving the worst drivers i have ever come across i am terrified to be on the road like i told jose i have officially retired from driving as long as we are living here i will not hop in a car and drive somewhere because the drivers here are manic even jose who has driven in the city he's from madrid and he thought he could handle it. They're way worse here. It's like people don't know how to follow the rules and they're so aggressive, which ends up backing up everybody. Anyways, I could go on. I will go on later, but I'm gonna stop now. Did you put the conference table up? Yeah. It's bland. We don't have any uh, decorations on it, but let's see. We'll have to go to Ikea next week to finally get some decoration. What? Why'd you ruin that? Well, you ruined the aesthetic and it needs to be pushed in a little bit more. Oh, we have a problem. Yeah. So, I might need to put it somewhere else. Well, put it in the... It looks good, though. Yeah, but it's not convenient. It's not convenient. Dang. You have to move it, like, a long portion. Well, I'll update you when we figure that situation out, so, no. This is the face of Jose is dragging me to the gym! So, I actually do need to go though, but when I get back, I need to finish editing a video because I have to submit it to my manager. And then I also want to edit the video I want to post tomorrow, and I need to edit a TikTok. I do this to myself. I decided to get poke instead of edit videos, and here we are. Anyways, see y'all at the gym. Got back from the gym, took a shower, had a snack. My uh, gel polish fell off this finger in the shower. But I think I'm gonna call this vlog a night. I saw it was like over 30 minutes long. So, you know, I worry about vlogs and that I don't have enough content for one day and then I talk the entire time. And the vlogs are always long. So anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Anyways, a huge thank you to Renfo for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out their eye massage. I will have it linked down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.